Hey, Buena, and welcome to another episode of BTV. I'm Francisco. And I'm AJ. I can't believe there's only six weeks left of school. It seems like the year flew by. Yeah, but at least a lot of our high school memories get captured in the yearbook. You know, they're actually for sale right now. This year is coming to the end, and the time frame to pre-order your yearbooks is getting shorter. Yearbooks are $75 and are available online at yearbookordercenter.com. Yearbooks are available until April 27th. If you still want a yearbook after this date, you'll have to wait until yearbooks get delivered to the school. Then there will be a limited amount for sale. So get them now while you still can. If you're ever interested in attending Coaches College, you'll love to hear that they have an open campus coming up. Friday, April 19th from 4.30 to 6.30, Coaches College will host an open house. They'll have an interactive displays and booths featuring more than 51 programs. Best part yet is that the event is free and open to anyone. So, any plans this coming school year? Any clubs or classes you might want to try? I was considering joining student council, but they put in a lot of work after school, and I'm not sure I have the time. You know, everyone I've talked to has different opinions about student council. I wonder what that's about. Student council is one of the most important organizations in the school. However, it's at the same time one of the most controversial ones. Our friends can go for it. And to show how we did a survey asking students for their opinion on that. If you have an idea, it's important to speak up, speak up. It's the only way things will change. Yep. Well, if you're not going to do student council, what do you want to do? I was looking at criminal justice. I heard about a really cool activity they did recently. What did they do? As you heard last week, a handful of groups went up to the Eastern University of Arizona for competitions. Among these groups, criminal justice, justice had people go up for practices. The goal of their practices was to shoot no-shoot drills. These were scenario-based ranging from domestic violence situations to family arrest warrants to traffic stops where the students had to identify when proper force was needed. Buena topped first out of all the schools. If scenario-based training is something you're interested in, consider joining Buena's Criminal Justice Club next year. You can also sign up for dual enrollment classes next year. Some of us aim for careers that might take a while to achieve, so we should be grateful for having dual enrollment here at Buena. Dual enrollment helps you achieve early college credits, so you have a good start after graduation. Buena offers a variety of AP classes that you can sign up for via course request. However, AP classes do have challenges to them and fees to pay to take them. To summarize, many early opportunities for college credits are available to you here at Buena. Are you tired of coming to school and going straight home? Probably not, but do you wish you had something fun and exciting to look forward to when coming to school? If so, you should consider Slack. 
Students who are interested in joining our Student Leadership Athletic Committee can pick up an application in the Athletics Office. Students involved in SLAC can help set up athletic events, create content, and operate the scoreboard system for many sports we have here at Buena. They also announce and volunteer for various activities. If you're still interested in it next year, please email Mr. Colvin or Ms. Miller for more information. What Jacob Tyler Weiss and I'm a systemic biology teacher at Point High School. How are you? And what's exciting in school right now? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Um, what's exciting in school right now? I would say um, our semester kind of winding up. We got like six, seven weeks of school left, and that's probably very exciting for everybody. What about your class, and why would people well, yeah, want to take it? Classes are generally a little bit different than um, the other classes. I teach everything from the cellular basis and up, and it's an um, evolutionary uh, driven subject kind of class. Um, freshman biology, barely, they touch subject evolution for like one week or two weeks. My classes are the whole year on um, evolution. So it's a little bit different than um, other science classes Point has to offer. Thing in general that you'd like to tell students about everyday school. Uh, anything you think uh, they should be aware of? I think all the students should, um, you know, keep fighting the good fight, um, try their best in like all the classes. Um, personal choices have long-term effects, like if a kid has personal choice of like being on their cell phone, doing a PowerPoint, um, hopefully, you know, I just want to make better decisions um, in the future and uh, to keep doing the best every single day in school, and that's it. That's all we can ask for. Um, I think a lot of the kids need to be aware about what classes they need to take um, next year, um, start preparing for the next school year as far as like, you know, classes, uh, sports, clubs, and everything like that. So that's about it, yeah. We can sign up for so much next year. Yeah, but there's still some things we can sign up for this year. As many people already know, the service of 48-hour film competition is starting tomorrow. On Friday, April 19th at 4 p.m., Competitors will come together to discuss key elements they need in their films. If you still want a chance to join in on the fun, you can still register to not, uh, today before midnight. To register, find one of the many posters hung up around the school and scan the QR code on the poster. The registration form is on the website. Whether you compete or not, you can watch all the creative films at the SV48 screening and awards ceremony. This event is on Sunday the 21st at 7 p.m. Come, come on down to the client center and only pay $5 to watch all the great movies. Do you remember that BTV story about the gummy bear stuck to the window? Yeah. It's gone. Have you heard the news? The mystery of the gummy bear in the library is even more of a mystery. For years, there was a red gummy bear sitting in the top middle window next to the science hallway. No one knew how this bear got up there, and there was no way of removing it. But recently, the gummy bear has finally come down. To this day, no one knew how it got up there, and now its disappearance brings new conspiracy to the bear. Well, that's all for this week's episode of BTV. I'm AJ. And I'm Francisco. See you later, buena.